a person spends 16.6 percentage of his income on house rent 17 percentage of the remaining on cloth 23 percentage on foods and 10 percentage of the remaining on education he deposited remaining amount in bank find the ratio of total income and total expenditure here always be careful about the word remaining now 16.66 percentage means 16.66 into 6 will give you around 100 percentage that is 99.96 percentage so fraction is 1 by 6 here consider 6 part as the income then one part he spent on rent now if you consider 600 6 part means 600 as total income 1 by 6 of 600 is 100 rupees he spent on rent remaining is 500 rupees out of this 500 rupees remaining 17 percentage of the remaining he spent on cloth means 17 percentage of 500 rupees he spent on cloth and 23 percentage on food 23 percentage on food which means remaining is equal to his 17 plus 23 is equal to 40 percentage remaining is 60 percentage that is here 40 percentage of 500 he spent on cloth and footing and remaining 60 percentage means 10 percentage of 500 is 50 then 60 percentage is 6 into 50 300 rupees remaining is 300 rupees now out of this 300 10 percentage of the remaining on education means 10 percentage of this 300 10 percentage of this 300 on education which means here remaining 90 percentage is the savings 90 percentage means 270 rupees so 270 rupees is the savings here now we need ratio of total income 600 and total expenditure means income minus savings is expenditure which is 600 minus 270 is 330 rupees so 600 is to 330 means 3 goes 20 times in 60 3 goes 11 times in 33 so 20 is to 11 is the ratio 20 is to 11